Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, um, I I really did not want to give this particular prophetic word because I excuse me please I'm only human because I felt tired yeah I felt tired at this point in time and this kept pressing so strong in my spirit and every time there is a pressing on in my spirit I know that something is about to happen sorry i stay by the roadside so some of the loud noise will obviously get into the video and you know i, I don't know if i should say it's just laziness or or negligence or what i have my mic that filters noise around i could put it in and it's going to give me a better volume and more professional but ask me what is going on with me i i really don't know <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this prophetic word says, Watch out for Sunday. Mm. 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 Title of this particular prophetic word, I say it again. It says, Watch out for Sunday. I said this and I, then I smiled because you know, sometimes I I wish that the things God begins to tell me, He would open somebody's eyes also automatically to just see it. So that is always my frustration. Whenever I'm saying something, oh, like especially when we are in our prophetic meetings and we're praying, and then God is giving me a prophecy or God is saying something that is about to happen to his glory. And I'm always preaching that somebody can just I somebody's eyes can just be open to see better of cause. There are people who are very sensitive at that point in time who are going to see it. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Did I introduce myself to you? I'm very sorry. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. I'm a very free person when it comes to the prophetic, delivering God's message, and saying this. I'm I'm just free. And I love you to be that free when you're listening. You should not be all so serious, like, okay, what she's saying? Can you just move ahead? Oh, can you just go on? Oh, can you just get straight to the point? No, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just in case you're that serious person, please forgive me. Okay? I'm sorry. So the title of this prophetic word says, Watch Out for Sunday. You know, there was a time the Lord spoke to me about a particular Sunday, and the Lord even gave the date of that particular Sunday. There was a date attached to that particular Sunday. And after that, I received so many testimonies. I did. I did. I did receive so many testimonies, and I was so amazed, and I was so happy. You know why? Because there were people who acted based on the prophetic instructions in their plans for that particular sunday and that particular week they had no intentions of doing that so that was what made me happy and that was what made me amazing and excited they had no plans but you know obedience is better than sacrifice your next level will always be dependent on an obedient. It is your obedience to kingdom principles that will guarantee your enjoyment to the kingdom economy. When you begin to obey God's word, 
when you begin to obey what the Lord is saying, when you begin to say, God, this word is for me. I trust in you. I obey you. The Bible says, for it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, there are spirits in their life. When you begin to understand that this is spiritual, it's not physical. I'm going to put every of my being, every of everything, my power, everything that I have to see to it that I'm obedient to this particular word and that it begins to manifest and that it begins to come to pass in my life. Then God will also be committed to blessing him. Yeah. God will also be committed to blessing him. Yeah. Sunday is considered as a, a day of worship and fellowship to so many of us, depending on your religion and depending on your ministry, depending on what you see. Now, in Dubai, Fridays used to be considered as the worship fellowship days, but right? not until we changed it to Sundays and all of that. And it's considered as a fellowship days to so many people worldwide. Okay. Now, I see something different. I see the Holy Spirit descending on some man that particular Sunday heavily. I say it again. I see the Holy Ghost descending on somebody on that particular Sunday heavily. And this is what God is saying. This will be a new beginning in your life. It will be a new dawn in your life. So what God is saying is on Sunday, keep it spiritual. Oh my God, I connect myself to this prophetic word. God help me. So what God is saying is on Sunday, you must keep it spiritual. I don't know who this word is for, but I know that by the time you begin to manifest what God is saying about you in this particular word, you will glorify him. Oh, yes. You will give him praise. Oh, yes. You will be so excited. And you will be so amazing. Keep it spiritual. The Holy Spirit is about to descend on somebody heavily. And this will be your new beginning. Open doors will start coming. I pray that let this prophetic word come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus, somebody type it in the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, let this word manifest in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let it manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, if these have been of great help and blessings to you, I would beg on you that you please pray for me. As the Spirit of the Lord who leads you, please kindly pray for me. God bless you as you do so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.